colleagues, thank you for your interest in the early conference keynotes. My name is Manfred Prenzl. You see me sitting here in my office in Munich at the Technical University. Maybe some of you will remember the early conference in 2013 when our School of Education had the pleasure of hosting this important European conference. Let me start with some information concerning my professional biography. It started here in Munich, however, at our neighbor university, the Ludwig Maximilians University of Munich. There I had many years ago the opportunity to engage in research on motivation and interest in different domains, one of them medical education. When I moved some years later from Munich to the University of Regensburg, the focus of my research then turned to vocational education. The next professional change to the Leibniz Institute for Science Education, the IPN in Kiel, brought me to the domains of science education and later on mathematics education. I became involved in TIMS and especially in PISA, worked there in several cycles as national program manager and was also engaged on the international level in the PISA science expert group and in the PISA test development. Being engaged with some responsibility in large-scale assessments means to get closely in touch with policy, to understand the different perspectives of stakeholders and to reflect the role of data and findings in educational policy. In 2009, the Technical University of Munich invited me to serve as a dean in the creation of a new faculty for teacher education, the TUM School of Education. However, in summer 2014, I took a voluntary leave of absence when I was elected as chairman of the German Council of Science and Humanities. As the Council of Science and Humanities has to provide advice to the German federal government and the state governments on the structure and development of higher education and research in general, there was another opportunity for me to gain more experience with the perspective of research policy and education policy with their expectations towards evidence and the challenges of communication with policy. Maybe this biographical retrospectation has already presented some reasons why my keynote will deal with evidence-based education and the role of teacher education. The starting point of my talk is a firm opinion that research in education can contribute substantially to improve the quality of education. The huge progress in the development of theories and especially in the development of advanced research as well as statistical methods allows more than ever before the analysis of the complex processes and interactions in education. The the idea of evidence-based education represents a particular type of relationship between researchers and those who are acting in the field of education, whether in the role of a practitioner in school or in the function of a decision-maker in policy or administration. Professional actors intend to perform as good as possible and are therefore principally interested to base their decisions on the best available knowledge. Best available knowledge could be provided by research, but findings from research have to be cut down and related to relevant professional situations. They have to be translated, interpreted and communicated with respect to the perspective of the professional actors. It has to be kept in mind, however, that practical as well as political decisions in the field of education are linked to goals. Researchers have to be aware of this normative embedding. They also must be aware of the fact that in the end, the one who decides is bearing responsibility. Researchers, on the other hand, are also carrying responsibility, not only for the validity of their findings, but also for the scrutiny of their interpretations and the communication of possible limitations, for example, concerning the range of potential applications or the need for replication and consolidation of findings. On a general level, I would like to differentiate between different kinds of knowledge that might result from different types of research approaches. 
the distinction between different types of knowledge and respective research approaches will be used to discuss possibilities of a strategic research agenda linking coherently basic research with applied research approaches. Problems of implementation and dissemination of knowledge have to be discussed in the context of evidence-based education together with problems of transferring knowledge from research constellations to practical situations. In this context, the concept of translational research coming from the field of medicine might be helpful and a blueprint for research strategies in education. Starting with more general considerations of evidence-based education, I then would like to discuss on a more specific level a set of implications for teacher education. Teacher education plays an important role for a successful shift towards a more and more evidence-based education. Here, first of all, I would like to stress limitations of evidence-based education in the sense that goal-oriented teaching also needs competencies beyond the knowledge and application of evidence from research. However, it is also important to keep in mind that teacher education traditionally tried to confront student teachers with certain kind of evidence, scientific knowledge and methodology. Simply spoken, that is the reason why initial teacher education is located at universities. It is one of the major challenges of initial teacher training to lay the foundation for a lifelong professional learning. It includes a recurrent critical examination and reflection of decisions and professional actions in the light of available evidence. The competencies to engage in such processes of reflection and professional learning have to be developed in our initial teacher training. So I am intending to differentiate relevant aspects of these competences in my keynote, but I would also try to show some approaches how the competence of dealing with evidence can be developed in initial teacher training and in professional development programs. And naturally it will be essential for me to present evidence when I'm talking about evidence-based education. I'm looking forward to seeing you in Tampere.